Hello, I'm Mike Macklear, proud athletic director here at GCIT. We're starting our 2024 spring sports preseason show. We're going to start with the boys volleyball team and our new head coach, uh, Jason Cahan. Uh, first of all, congratulations on being named head coach. Uh, so, Jason, we're, we're, I guess, about a, almost, yeah, we are about a weekend. How are things going so far? I mean, we're good. Um, team culture is definitely changing. Um, that was my key here to start as a head coach, is try to change the culture, change the attitude of these, and trying to become a winning team. Uh, you're coming into a team that's, we've had some de- decent success in the past. Uh, we have a, a decent amount of returners coming in. Uh, how, how does the team starting to gel so far? They've been gelling good. So we um, made some tough decisions uh, in the tryout period. Um, so we definitely have a small group, so, and we did it for a reason. So we can stay close, stay as a community, and keep this culture going. Um, we have great leadership, so we have some great le- uh, senior leaders uh, who I'm really relying on. Um, so they are definitely a great group of kids and great group of uh, students. So. Uh, you know, coming in, you know, Tri County Conference, not a bad, you know, Williamstown, Kingsway, Clearview, some others, and we have a, a, I think, a pretty good schedule going in. Had the NJTAC tournament. What's maybe some of your goals that you have for the team going in? Yeah, some of my goals um, are to compete, right? So not only do you want to play the best, you want to beat the best, right? So being in the TCC, um, we play the best, especially in boys volleyball. So. I want to go out in there and compete. So I want to be in the game. I want to give it a fight each time, right? Never give up. That's that's what I want to see out of the boys. All right. Well, listen, uh, best of luck to you and the team, and I look forward to seeing you out there. Yep. Thank you. Coach Cahan. All right. We are continuing our preseason show with the boys' volleyball team. I'm now with two members of that team, Ryland Stark and Nicholas Caltabiano. So, guys, we're, we're a week in. How are things going so far with the team? I think they're going well. I think we're building some uh, strong connections, and I think as the season progresses, we'll just we'll get better, you know. And I'm excited to see kind of what the season holds. Uh, we lost a lot of seniors, but I mean, this year we're basically gonna have a whole new lineup for varsity. But uh, so far, I think we have a pretty good connection going already. I feel pretty fluent with our team so far. So I mean, nothing bad yet. You talked about. Um you know, we, we've lost a few, but we also have a lot of people came back, got a lot of playing time. So, uh, has, has it, you know, people's getting in positions or starting to gel? Have you, have, you, have you seen that? I'll start with Nick first. Uh, yeah, I mean, our center really had to step up for this one. Uh, he was playing uh, JV last year. So now we're moving up to varsity. And I feel like he, he really got a really good grip on the whole thing. So, I mean, I'm pretty comfortable with it. Yeah, I like to see the improvement from kind of returning players. I think um, definitely the people who are underclassmen like um, Mason and uh, Chris are definitely stepping into a bigger role. And then the seniors who are returning who might not have played extra are definitely, I can see some improvement for sure. I was talking to Coach earlier, you know, Tri-County Conference is pretty good, you know, with Kingsway, Clearview, Williamstown, some others. But, you know, we've had our success too and we've got an ambitious schedule. What would what are some goals you have as a team and maybe a personal goal for you guys coming up to the season? Um, I think our goal as a team is to win the NJTAC conference. After placing second two years in a row, I'm really hungry for that third um, third opportunity. And then I think just beating some teams that we lost to last year. I mean, we've got some revenge okay. that we want. I mean, yeah, I'm going on year four over here, so. I would really like to win um, one of those at least. So, um, I mean, yeah, I mean that's all. Just win and get a win in the tournament. I think it's definitely possible. So, yeah, no, I, I think so too. Just with just the amount of people that got playing time last year, I think that's going to help us, you know, throughout the season. Well, listen, uh, thank you. Best of luck to both of you and the team, and look forward to seeing you out there. Thank you. Boys volleyball team. We're back continuing our uh, GCIT spring season preseason show. Uh, we're out in the elements today on this balmy day with the tennis team um, with uh, head coach uh, Gene Noor. So, Gene, uh, we're about 10 days into the season. How are things going so far? Yeah, they're going well. We're getting a lot of practice time. At least it's not raining. It might be cold, but uh, we're, uh, you know the weather's been pretty good to us so far, actually. 
Uh, we've got a good turnout this year, a bunch of kids, and uh, you've got some returners from last year. So, how does uh, you know how's you know preseason going so far, and, and the uh, and you know what, what are we looking like uh, for the season? Yeah, I think we'll be competitive. Our top threes, you know, solid, you know, uh, pretty good, and they're competing hard with each other. They're they're close, so to say, so they have good practices with each other. And we have a lot of new guys and some people that are going to step up a little bit, and they're already making progress, which is which is nice. You know, uh, we're in the Royal Division, Tri County, which are a lot of good teams in there. Uh, but I, I think we have a good schedule. Uh, what would be maybe some of the goals you have for the team? And you know, playing tennis here at GCIT, what do you hope they, they get out of it? Well, number one, we want to be competitive. It's always more fun when you're competitive. Uh, and I think we'll do that this year. Uh, we have a lot of new guys. Like I said, we have 20 some players out here. So it's going to also be about uh, teaching people how to play for the future too. And uh, I think down the road we're we're looking pretty good. All right. Well, thank you, and uh, best of luck to you and the team this season. Thank you, Coach Noor. Continuing with the boys' tennis team, I'm here with uh, first singles player Luke Gladfelter. Luke, uh, I was just talking to Coach Noor. We're about 10 days in uh, to the preseason here with practices and all. How are things going so far? They're going phenomenal. Obviously, the biggest thing is the turnout. Um, we've seen numbers like I've never seen in my four years here. And I think it's absolutely incredible that more kids are getting into the sport. Uh, we, uh, we we talked to coach. We got the top three coming back from last year. Uh, like you said, we got good numbers. What are you know? How I guess you know? What are some of the uh, you know, how, what are your expectations for uh, for you and maybe the team this season? I have great expectations for the team. Like I said, we got a lot of numbers. We got a lot of guys out here. Always love to see that. Always love to build ourselves up as a team. Um, other singles players. They're doing phenomenal. You tell they've been putting in that work during the off season. Some of them give me a little bit of a run, but um, I love to see it. These guys train hard, they work hard, and they they just love to be out here. You know, you, you said you've been here for four years as a senior. What do you, you know, uh, what would you tell us? Maybe some of the younger kids, uh, you know, out for the team. What's you know, what's it like playing you know tennis here at GCIT? It's it's incredible. You know, we have a beautiful. We're you know we're very lucky to be able to use these courts out here. They're beautiful. You know, nice weather. Love the spring sports. Um, but really, just just put in the work. You know, this sport is what you make it. You got guys who might come out here and slack off. You got some guys out here who are going to be here every day. They'll be put in the effort, and you'll see who it really pays off for in the end. All right. Well, thank you. Best of luck to you and the team this season. Thank you, sir. Luke Clodfelter. We're continuing our 2024 spring preseason show. Today we're with the softball team on this gorgeous day here. Uh, actually, our first scrimmage. I'm here with our new head coach, uh, Jamie Minix. Jamie, uh, our first scrimmage today with uh, uh, Gloucester City. We're, we're about a week in. So how are things going so far? Uh, things are going really well. We have a very talented group of kids. Um, I'm definitely ready to see them in gameplay today. Um, I'm really big on setting the tone on the first scrimmage, first pitch of the uh, per first pitch of the game. Uh, this is where it's going to set the tone for the season. Uh, looking for some um, big accomplishments out of them this year, and I'm looking to take this team pretty far into in our playoff run here. So, you know, you're coming into a new team. You know, new atmosphere. Uh, you know, again. Uh, what what have you uh, seen so far that's, that's really uh, jumped up out of you? I would just say the overall level of talent here in the, at GCIT, uh, top to bottom, there's two, three positions that are, you know, a couple players deep that are all fighting for these starting spots. And um, this scrimmage is definitely, and uh, the next few scrimmages are very important in regards to who's going to be those starting players. So the pressure is on, but it's good pressure. Um, and it's kind of keeping them motivated, keeping them working hard and trying to find a start in that spotting uh, in that starting lineup uh, again you know uh, the Royal Division always pretty good you know the Kingsway it's clear views Williams has all those teams you know we play a, again an ambitious schedule got a good schedule going in what are some of your goals you have uh, for the team this year to be the top in the Tri-County Royal um, I love playing good teams. I know the girls love playing good teams. You don't get better by playing average teams. You get better by playing better teams. So uh, it's all about kind of showing up and when the whistle blows, be ready to go. Uh, seven innings is seven innings, and I'm really, I really stress it. Don't 
let the foot off, you know, off the gas the entire time. So really looking forward to playing some of these good teams and ultimately coming out on top. All right. Well, listen, best of luck to you and the team. Look forward to seeing you out there. Coach Mix of the softball team. All right, we're continuing our softball preseason show. We're with two seniors, two important people, our pitcher, Aubrey Miller, and our catcher, Alexis Monroe. So, ladies, uh, you know, this taping, we're about to start our first scrimmage of the year versus Gloucester City. We're about a weekend. Tell us, how we're the th uh, how is the season going so far? Uh, we're super excited, especially with our new coach. Definitely a lot of new talent as well. So, all together, just a new team, but the same passion for the sport. So, we're really excited. I'm very excited as well. I'm very excited to work with my um, friends that I am with in school, the school year as well. So, yeah. So, you know, expectations are always high around here. We always have a good team. Uh, I was, you know, talking to coach. You know, we've got, you know, the, the conference or division is always good. Plus, we, we always play an ambitious schedule. So, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to in the season uh, going ahead? I'm definitely looking forward to senior night and NJ Tech. Yeah. <laughs> Also looking forward to playing Kingsway again this year. Even though I say that every year, I am very lo I'm looking forward to it and Senior Night and NJ Tech. You know, uh, everyone has goals. You know, individually and as a team. What are some of the goals that you have? Uh, you know, as an individual and as a, and for the team. Um, I'm looking forward to hitting 100 100 hits this year and maybe possibly hitting 400 strikeouts this year. Um, I'm looking forward to assisting Aubrey with those 400 <laughs> strikeouts. I'll be behind the plate. Um, definitely just looking for a winning season. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Well, listen, best of luck to you two and the team. And look forward to seeing you out there. Thank you so much. All right, members of the softball team. Continuing our preseason show, I'm with now uh, for the golf team um, with the head coach of the golf team, Chad Hahn. Coach, thanks for being with us. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, we're just talking to a couple of the boys on the team. We're one and one uh, starting the season, and, and uh, like I said before, the golf team, you, you practice, and it seems like you're all, you know we're already playing matches, ready to go. So we're, we're about two, two and a half weeks in. How are things going so far? Yeah, things are going well. It, it is a quick start, but uh, fortunately. The team and our captains, Jamie and Enrique, they had them getting together prior to the season. Mm -hmm. They set up some practice rounds with the kids. Uh, so they were getting out there, getting swings in before the start of the season because they knew it was a, a real quick start. Uh, so we're still getting back into it. You know, we're not mid-season form yet, but uh, we're, we're, we're working towards that and we're getting there now. You have a, a nice uh, group coming back from last year. Uh, last year's team did well, and they have a nice uh, uh, team coming back. How has how the team gelled so far? Uh, so far, uh, the team's getting along well. Um, you know, we are kind of getting back into the swing of things, uh, but we do have a lot of potential this year. Uh, and, and as soon as we start, you know, uh, you know, playing up to that potential, I think we really start to make some noise, especially uh, some of the tournaments that we have coming up. Mm -hmm. One of probably the, I mean, the biggest thing that's really come uh, is, is – um, is a new scoring system for qualifications for states, the uh, I want to maker. That's changed some things. Instead of hitting from the white tees now, we're, we're on the tips there, we're on the blues and the, uh, playing there. How, how has that uh, changed the game and how has the team adapted to that? Yeah, so with the new scoring system, it's a handicap based system, uh, so it's adjusted scores. Uh, so we have to try and make uh, Pittman as difficult as possible because it's an easier course. Uh, so to kind of compete, we do have to play from those back tees. And so far, it, it hasn't really affected our scores at all. Uh, so yeah, we've been we've been playing well, uh, and there's it's, it's a very small difference between the white tees and the blue tees uh, over there at Pittman. So that part of it really hasn't affected us much. And, and currently, too, like we are in right now, I mean, it's still early in the mm -hmm. season, but we are in the top eight in our division right now. So okay. if we can kind of hold our position, uh, we do have a shot of getting into sectionals. So. All right, that, that's great. Talked about earlier, like you said, some of the tournaments. The Carl Arena is always a big one. The county uh, tournament and, and the TCC showcase that are going in. Uh, so that there, there's some good uh, barometers, I would think, for the, for the team to go forward. Uh, when, when somebody plays on your, your team, Coach, what do you hope they get, uh, they get out of the experience? 
Well, we always want the kids to have an enjoyable experience because we want them to be, you know, passionate about what they're doing. Where if they, you know, if they dread coming to practice every day, mm. then a lot of times it's hard to motivate them to do well. Uh, so we try and make it an enjoyable experience, uh, and we try and, you know, let them know too that it is a competitive varsity sport, and we wanna, you know, we wanna be successful as a program. And I feel like that they're buying into that, and they're really putting in the work. You know, they've done a lot in the off season. Uh, and that's why I expect a lot of good things in this year. Okay. Well, listen, uh, best of luck to you and the team, and I look forward to seeing you out there. All right. Thank you. Coach Hahn of the golf team. We are continuing our 2024 spring preseason show. Because of the weather outside, we're inside with the golf team, and I have two members of the golf team with us. Jamie Sisilka and Enrique Altman, thank you for uh, joining me. Uh, so as of this taping, the team is one and one mm -hmm. on the season, yeah. correct? Uh, but, you know, uh, two, I mean, the, our one loss is the Washington Township. We put up a really good score. We had a good score, yeah. but they put up a really good score. So I guess we're, what, what about two weeks in uh, on the season? So I, I'll start with Jamie. How, how, are, I mean, um, how are things going so far? Uh, I mean, they're all right. We got a few shaky scores, but I mean, as soon as people get like ease into it, I think we'll do a lot better. We'll go from like 170s to 160s. Yeah. Rika, how do you think things are going so far? Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Uh, personally, I, had, I was struggling the past week, so I'm kind of getting back into it. Well, you know, one of the things with uh, the golf season this year, we started practice and like a week later, yeah. we're, we're doing, uh, we're starting our, our matches already, not even a scrimmage or anything like that. And Although we've had a nice couple of days, we have not had the best of days uh, being out of golf. So I, I think that's got to be a little bit. But, um, you know, last year we had some nice success with the team. You know, coming back, we have a lot of people coming back from, from this year's squad. Um, so, you know, golf is one of those things that's it's rarely tough just to pick up the club and, and be good. you got to be doing it for a while. I'll start with Enrique. How long have you been playing golf for? I've been playing golf for like eight years, ever since I was like eight or nine. Okay. Uh, about like 12, 13 years, yeah. My grandpa would always take me out and play. Okay. Um, you know, we, we have a, a pretty good schedule put together, and, and as usually the, the Carl Arena tournament, the TCC Showcase, and the County tournament, these are, these are big, uh, big tournaments that I think, you know, we can do well. And obviously, you know, looking to make uh, the playoffs, and now we got the new scoring system. Uh, for those things, what are some of maybe your individual goals that you have, and maybe as a team? Uh, uh, team. Um, well, for individual rankings, I'd like to be like at least top 50, top 40 in the state. And for the team, I mean, it'd be nice if we qualify for sectionals as a team. It is hard, but it's definitely possible. Okay. Yeah, as a team, I think making uh, sectionals would be pretty cool. It's going to be a challenge, though. And personally, I like my uh, scoring average to be in like around 38. Okay, good good goals there. Good goals there. What's one of the best things about playing golf here at GCI Tag? Uh, definitely being uh, with uh, friends on the team. It always makes it fun. Practices could be fun, and then there's always like taking it seriously too, asking, giving people advice. It's always nice, and then you see it work too. It's always just cool to see. I think the coaches make it fun and interesting, and just getting out and playing every day. It's awesome. All right. Well, listen. Uh, best of luck to both of you and the team this year. Thank you. And I look forward to, uh, to seeing you out there and seeing those scores. Thank, Thank you. you. GCIT golf team. Hello, this is our final segment of the 2024 spring preseason show. We're going to uh, end with the baseball team, um, like the golf team, a little bit uh, of nasty weather out there, so we're going inside. I'm joined by Coach Epolite. So, Coach, um, we're, we're coming, as this taping, we're coming down the home stretch of preseason. Uh, how has the preseason gone so far? Uh, well, yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, so far, weather has been up and down uh, for tryouts and everything. We had 60s, 70s. It was beautiful. Uh, and it's, it's been a little challenging the last uh, couple days we've been out there. Some of our games have been in colder weather. But, hey, it's Northeast baseball. You know, it's what we expect. Um, and we have to be ready to play in any kind of weather. So, so far, the early going. Pitching's been good. 
Uh, we've been trying to swing the bats and, and work on a couple of things and uh, kind of figure out where our depth chart is at different positions. So uh, we graduated a lot of guys, so a lot of open spots. So tons of competition. It's just been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, we're coming off a nice season, 14 and 10. Had a really, really nice stretch of some, of some really good games and won some big games. So coming into this year, uh, obviously we lost a, a bunch of seniors from last year, but we also have a good group coming back. Uh, it seems like on the pitching side, I think we'd be pretty good. I know maybe we just got to see the young guys come up and uh, swing the bat a little bit. So is that how you kind of see things? Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, whenever you could start off with, uh, you know, uh, pitchers that have experience at our level and, and they've had success and some of them have been dominant, that's, that's really helpful to have for a coach. Uh, you know, we have some good bullpen options this year, too, to, to deploy. Um, you know, just trying to figure out our everyday lineup is going to be something that, uh, you know, we're still working on it. And uh, we have a lot of options and we have some good young players. And, you know, we've had some guys that have been around, too, that have been contributors in our program. And, you know, we're just uh, we're excited to to see this new, cr you know, this new crew and this new crop and see see what it what kind of fruit it bears. Um. You know, we talk all the time, you know, Tri-County, Royal Division, you know, every game's a good game. Uh, I think we have a good schedule, ambitious schedule. Uh, I know we play in the uh, the Pittman-Lang tournament, have the NJTAC uh, tournament, you know, and, and, and down the road, the playoffs. What are, what are some of the things that you hope to accomplish this season? I mean, every year we always start out with tons of goals, you know, team-wise. And, uh, you know, our division is, is very important to us to win our division. Uh, last year uh, we came up a little short. Uh, you know, we had a winning record in division. We were six and four. Uh, beat every team in our division once, at least. And um, you know, we, we have a great division. A lot of good opponents. Great baseball uh, in South Jersey. Always some really good teams. Uh, our players, you know, are are very fortunate to get to play against great competition. Uh, it gets them ready for the next level, and it just makes our games a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, always want to make noise in the tech tournament. We would love to win that every year. Uh, and we want to make the playoffs every year, so you know we always have a lot of goals. The Lang tournament's another one we can't wait to get in that one and uh, try to make some noise in that too. All right, well, good stuff. Well, listen, uh, best of luck to you and the team, and look forward to seeing you out there. Thank you very much, Coach Epplet of the baseball team. Continuing the baseball preseason show, I'm with two players, Brent Heil. Andrew Valet, gentlemen, thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank you. So we just talked to Coach. We're almost at the end of the the preseason. You know, we, we've had a, we've had a, you guys have played a few games so yeah. far, and as of this taping, we have uh, hopefully we get one more scrimmage in on uh, Saturday. on Saturday. So, you know, I'll start with Brent. How has the preseason gone so far? Um, it's definitely been fun. Uh, lost a lot of seniors, finding new spots for new guys. Um, I'm enjoying seeing some of the underclassmen come up, come up in big spots. Uh, find their spots on the lineup, find their spot on the field. It's been fun um, seeing like how we're going to work with all these new guys coming in. I think that's my favorite part of this uh, new season. Andrew? I mean, yeah, same. I mean, we lost, we lost like, what, 14 seniors. A lot of people were like, oh, you guys can't hit this year. All you guys have is pitching. But, I mean, since the few games we've been hitting. So I think we're really going to show them that we can hit, even though we're young, mostly sophomore, junior team. I think we're going to still be able to hit like last year and steal bases and everything. No, no, no doubt, and I think, you know, I think yeah, some guys are, are hungry to do something, yeah. you know, to get up, you know, to get up and do some things that, like you said, a bunch of spots are open. I also think, uh, you know, last year we started a little slow, but had that great stretch, and I thought, hey, you know, we can do this, and I think that, that attitude, and maybe you could speak to it, I think that attitude is carrying over. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. When we, when we uh, went one and five, oh. and then had a uh, nine-game <laughs> streak, yeah. that was really good. I'm hoping to uh, carry some of that momentum into this season. Hopefully we can uh, start off good with the few wins, get some uh, tech wins going on, get into okay. the tech championship again. So I'll start with uh, Andrew. What, what position do you play? I'm a uh, right-handed pitcher and a first baseman. Mostly pitcher, though, but I play first. Okay. Same. Same thing? Same thing yeah. So, uh, you know, it, it is interesting is that, you know, we did lose a lot of seniors, mm -hmm. but you got a lot of people, you know, coming up. Tell us about that little process with the guys coming in. How are people gelling together, or you know, you know how was yeah. that going? Also, Andrew, how do you think it's going so far? Yeah, I think it's going. Good. I mean, a lot of kids are. It's just a great opportunity. Last year, we had a lot of good, a lot of good players. But when you have 14 seniors who've been there for mm -hmm. some kids for five years because COVID, mm -hmm. and then you got a lot of seniors, it's hard to get in there. But I think all the sophomores have a great opportunity to show coach that, hey, I can do this, and and a lot of them have. Everyone's doing their part and doing the best they can. 
Yeah, everybody's uh, been working out over the winter together for the past like four or five months. So everyone has good chemistry. Uh, we all love being with each other. Um, good energy on the field, good energy off the field, hang out outside of school. It's a really good team. I like, I like working with the, uh, the younger guys as well, with my older guys, my seniors. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, great to be on the field with some uh, young talent. Yeah, like, all the, like on the bus rides, it's like incredible. It's, everyone mm -hmm. has energy. No one's ever just like, oh, I don't want to be here. Like, everyone mm -hmm. wants to go. Everyone wants to win. Everyone has the same yeah. goals. And when that happens, you get wins. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. So pitching. You know, it's that, yeah. you know, that's, that's, that's one of the things you're out there on the mound. A lot yeah. depends on you. So how long have you, you pitched from the beginning? Uh, I think I started pitching when I was in about like fourth grade. So I've been pitching for quite a long time. Yeah, I've been pitching since I remember like since I was like five. I'd mm -hmm. go out there. I would always be the guy. And then, uh, yeah, and I started taking it seriously when I was like 13. Because I used to always just play town ball. But then mm -hmm. a coach saw me playing town ball. It was like this kid's got to so I just started playing travel. And then I got just kept getting better and better. But I never really took it seriously until I was like in seventh grade, okay, eighth grade. Yeah. Right. Yeah, good stuff. So you know, um, Tri County, you know, the Royal Division is always good. Got a lot of good teams, and we talked about you know we got the Tech Tournament. You know, we got a we got an ambitious schedule, some really good teams. But the overall, like you know, what would you tell somebody about your overall experience playing baseball? What's one of the best things about playing baseball here? Um, Best thing about playing baseball here is getting to mix with so many guys from so many uh, different towns. You know, we have guys from all over Gloucester County, so we can always say, oh, I know who's throwing today. He, he can throw this, this, and that. Um, I know the catcher. I know their hitters. So it's always nice to see um, how many friends we have outside of just our school. Yeah, same with that. But I think it's like, it's like a, like you said, there's kids from all over. Mm -hmm. Like you meet kids from every town in Gloucester County. So it's like, you, get, you just meet new people instead of just being restricted to that one town if you were to go to your uh, sending district. Every time I, I talk to players and students, it's the yeah. same thing. You know, yeah. it's, it's just, we're just unique it's so in cool. that everybody yeah. comes in, you, you meet new people. That's one of the best things I, I think about, yeah. about uh, uh, going here. So, so last question, do we have a favorite player uh, do you guys like or, or try to maybe emulate your game after? You go first. That's hard. Um, I mean, I, I would just say maybe like Shohei Itani. Okay. Yeah, he pitches and hits. Yeah. He's a great guy. Okay. Shohei. There you go. Yep. That's, That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good Absolutely. one. Absolutely. All right. Well, listen, gentlemen, best of luck this year. Look forward to seeing you and the team out this year, and, and uh, hope we have a great season. Thank, Thank you. you. GCIT baseball team.